on a... I can only assume they tried to anti-strat against TP, but they were ready for it. Flixie starting it off with one. Make that two Glock Kev shots. And UP now up by three in a man advantage as they pick up yet another Flixie on a 3k. He's looking for more reward. Or 2k. Yeah, K2. Oh my god, I'm just messing everything up. But it doesn't matter. Graves is going to end it. Rogues before this, but doesn't really matter because UP switching up the pace going straight towards the A-bomb site, taking up top mid, but Dex AV, he's not letting anything go. He's on a 4K. And MJB is going to come in to finish it off. Gizmer finally on his old, or trusty AWP. I was going to try and make an analogy there, but I couldn't. MJB with a little overextension in tactile. He's going to punish that one. Maybe on a little bit of a Red Bull drinking spree today, hopefully. That's all I can hope for, because... We've seen good tactile and we've seen the bad. The question is, what are we going to see today? K2 trying to regain for some fallen ground and towards Boiler, and he is going to do so. Tying things back up in the floor. Offense. His two men look to come towards that direction. The other man being to K2 towards CT with his AK-47. Kismar, he might have himself a frag here. Oh, he barely misses the head, but the lineup is there. Kismar going to go ahead and peek straight in. When pick up one and two is Graves. Not even alt mid. One of them's in Boiler, one of them's in Apps, and I thought... Maybe they would be able to take down Z Was that Z? Zav? How do you pronounce that? I don't know, but Tactile's pronouncing his own fate or his own success towards the A bomb site as he picks up one on the trade. It's 3v3, but don't be too sure about that just yet because Z Zav has made his way all the way into Boiler, and I'm not sure if UP are going to be ready for this. They just cleared out both of these angles, so. This could definitely catch them off guard. They clear it, but he's going to back off just in time. And I don't see Zzap failing this. Or hmm, At least he didn't get both, but MJB is there to pick up the trade instead. It's Beta Nix in the 1v2. He's got a flash to his system, and I hope that's going to blind MJB. It did, but Beta Nix didn't peek off it. Now it's going to screw him over in the end because MJB is going to end it. Just what is that? Smoke for Beta Nix finds one towards back site. The offer of MJV is going to be isolated towards conference. I'm still kind of curious as to why that's a lineup they learned. But CTs, they still want to attempt this retake. They want themselves a seventh. And if they molly, then if they molly towards new box, they could very well have a shot at it. But they actually do. I thought they didn't have a molly top. Adenix is going to fall victim. It's 3v4. This is actually going terribly wrong for UP. It's Flixy in the 1v2. He's picking up two. He's trying to spring for a third. The B250 connects in the very end, and MJB is able to clutch it out. They have full control of Archie. He's going to correct. Catch corrupt off guard. Adenix has been doing pretty hot this game. Let's see if Kismer can follow the same success. Picks up another headshot on a big glamour. It's one man standing on this B-bomb side, and it's MJB. He's able to convert one. So even though under pressure, he does a nice job with what he's been given. Though the bomb has been dropped by K2 coming in on a flank, and it may seem like a good, a good man advantage is in UP's favor, but they need to push straight into K2, who has full control of the bomb and utility to be working with. UP, right now, it's not looking so great. A flash is going to come into his system as well, and Zizav, he's coming in on a flank. They're not even aware he's able to pick up one. His position given away, another health advantage heavily in the CT side favor. And it looks like K2, he wants to push through the smoke. Kismer, he wants to be ready for it. Tactile's going to be the one ready for it. Instead, they're going to head towards A now. Xav, he's not able to convert more towards the B-bomb site as Kismer He's already on A, getting the bomb down. 35 seconds, and it looks like Zizav wants to go for this retake. He's got himself a molly, a nade, and a smoke. A smoke, a flash. He's got the HP advantage on both of these players, though it doesn't really matter with the weapon. Oh, a molly and pit. That's actually going to force Kismer out of position, but it's Xav. He's not looking the right way. Where is he? It's one versus one. No way. Xav pulls another one out of the hat. It looks like he spotted out to where Tactile is. He taps the bomb, and now he wants to stick it. Tactile doing a great job at just baiting him, but Xav going to now take the fight to him. Tactile with the free fire. It's the headshot, and it's a fourth for UP. Flixie and Co. taking straight towards the apartments. It's up by one in this man advantage. Beta Nix adding on to it. Actually, wait, I missed the other frag from Tactile. It's one versus four for Corrupt. He's got a Zeus, and that's what he's playing for. He wants to try and find something. He's going to overextend and find his own demise. Five to seven. UP down by two. MJB, the timing is going to favor him. He picks up one. He spins around because he's aware of the potential possibility of more being there. But UP, though, it's kind of funny because they come out better. I mean, Binkelhammer, well, never mind. Beta Nix 
I'm still kind of questioning some of these pushes by Betanix this game, but it looks like UP is going to walk off fine from it, especially with the main advantage. Tactile coming to assist the rest of his teammates on the A-bomb slate. He's going to be taking the full 100 HP fight on the MJB. And if I didn't know better, I'd say Tactile was going to be winning this one in clean contention. This is the last round of the half, so they got to fight with everything they've got. And they're doing that to a T as Tactile puts it in the 4v2. UP has complete control of the A-bomb site. Kiss. What? With the whiffed off shot, I actually don't know how that didn't hit. But now the retake is going to come in from our IT Tigers. We've seen so many successful man deficit retakes from them. And Bingo Hammer is going to run onto the bomb site and cause hell, but to not any avail as it's two versus one now corrupt with less than 20 HP with the AK in hand and he's got to speed this up he's got a kit but he doesn't really have the advantage here he's got to go into a crossfire of T's and tactile he's smart enough to not even peek towards this Braves and Betanix they're not convinced maybe they are and this is going to come to bite them in the ass as K2 picks up one Betanix he's left on the B bomb site or the A bomb site alone He's able to pick up one, but it's 3v3, but I don't... Wait, they're not aware of Kismer. He's already up on the bomb site. The bomb's gonna go down, but with K2 on 50 HP, he's solo, and he could fall. He will. So it's traded back. Flixie, he's got a kit, and he's just gonna hop on it. Oh, my. This is gonna pan out so well for UP. The bomb is gonna be stuck, and Flixie's got it! Two men left for RIT with a man advantage. Can't do it. Okay, no K2. That's gonna be absolutely different. A Molotov comes. He's gonna have to sit in it. K2, though. With that frag, he's also found more information as one of the other players shot at him trying to make sure he could pick up that trade frag. Kismer, though, through the wall, takes care of one of the issues on the T side, that being Binkelhammer, who was just kind of the bait. They were just throwing him in there to see if they can spot out for any of the information. But the better question... Oh, my God, Kismer! Wrong time for me to switch off him, apparently, and UP, they absolutely dominate it, but they smoke it off instead. Flixie on the back of the bomb site picks up one at 4v5, and he's ready to take on some more. He's on a third. Can he get anything more? I don't think he can, because Graves comes in to steal the other two. Kismer is well aware of the fake potential, but they're not going to be faking. They're going to be taking A, and Tactile picks up an amazing two. Pinklehammer picks up one, but it's traded out by Kismer. Kismer Tactile with the aggression in B-apps. Maybe we will get to see one of these two Ks. Because Tactile starts it off so strong. Kismer Cam? Sounds good. Done. Oh, Kismer. Spots out one towards top mid, and he's going to instantly back off. Though now we're going to Flixie Cam, because he might have himself a frag here soon. He's going to peek towards Dolphins and pick one up. Out of boy Flixie, his position given away. And now RIT Tigers have to be sent down an absolute spiral of what to do. That Zav, or Zav was actually ready for this to happen. Kismer trying to spray through the smoke, but he won't connect for anything. And it's a fallen B-bomb site that UP are going to have to retake unless Kismer wants to do some ungodly things and through the smoke. Oh, he tried to line it up, and that would have been absolutely miraculous. But it's still a 3v3 that UP are going to be attempting. Betanix is going to come from Banana. Tactile CT. And Betanix starts it off with a 1. There's 2 versus 3. A man advantage for UP. Last man is going to be sitting towards Emo and Tactile. Oh my lord. Alright, team. They want to bank off of that. Previous team on success. Betanix, though, isn't going to allow that to go anywhere near as well as it did last time. And he converts a quick 2x. I always... Oh my god, I hate that. K2... He's able to trade one out. We miss every 2k. That Now it's on auto record. Now it's not my fault. We are going to see the third one coming out from Beta Nixus. What in? You know what? I, I'm not even going to. Tactile. He's going to run straight into Altman and pick up one. It's already the five versus four. And if he picks up another, then he sends it away. If you pick up this round, then no matter what happens, Tactile has secured himself the MVP of this game. Unfortunate for Betanix, he was so close. Graves, he's flashed off, and he's got a molly in hand. He can't do anything about it. Flixie's still on the bomb site, and he's the final hope for UP on the B bomb site. But apparently, he picks up one. He could do two as well. And he's gonna be pushed by Corrupt. It's one man left, and Xav is going to fall. 16 to 9, UP pick it up. Anywho, Flixie. That game in the first half was looking kind of shaky.
What uh, what happened that it was so close and kind of a more of a back and forth battle in the first half? Uh, they broke our economy early, which kind of gave them a streak of rounds, and at that point it was just kind of back and forth gun rounds at the end. But we were really confident going into CT if we could keep our economy, and we did. So I remember the last time you guys played Inferno, speaking of your CT, your CT was kind of yikes, right? What do you yeah, think it was. changed coming into this game? And it pretty much gave you the ability to, I believe you lost one round on, T on CT side. Two rounds. You lost two rounds on CT side. What do you think changed from that last time we saw you on Inferno and now? Uh, the biggest difference was overpeaking brackets. We had a huge problem of just losing a pick brackets every single round. And then in effect, it would just fuck our A players and then... It would mess up the rotations on B, and we'd definitely fix that issue. Okay, yeah, I did I did notice a lot of rotation issues that happened in that previous game. But, now, my next question is, I noticed on pistol round for your T side, you guys sent all 5B. And I ask you if that is an anti-strat solely because I noticed that there was nobody on B on that pistol round for RIT. Um, it actually wasn't. Um, this team doesn't play Inferno. That was their first match of the season, so we didn't have a demo to watch to counter strat. So that was just kind of a pistol that we'd been practicing the last few days, so we just ran it and it happened to... That was interesting, then, and I would definitely recommend you check that, or check the VOD, because it was kind of funny to see that the closest man was in deep CT. Now... Yeah, I mean, if they watched our demo, then they saw that we did a really fast lane play before, so... They could have been trying to counter strat us, and we kind of just accidented that, maybe. Well, back to your T side. Do you think that it needs to be improved going into future games? Or are you happy um, with where it is now? I'm pretty happy where it, with where it is. Our default is working pretty well, and then our strats were working. It's just we have to kind of fine-tune them. Like, we had a couple scrappy rounds that we probably shouldn't have lost. And if we can just clean up those, then we'll be set. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on the post-game interview, Mr. Number 5 ADR Man. And uh, congratulations on the win.